The past two decades, what started as one woman knitting hats as she recovered from surgery has grown to around 2,000 people across Central Virginia knitting, crocheting, and donating nearly 500,000 items to those who need them. Our Cameron Thompson tells us about the group From the Heart Stitchers and how they're helping other people. This is mostly acrylic yarn in this area. Tricia Ennis walks past wall-to-wall -wall yarn Tuesday. We have a cotton area back in here on both sides. To a back room where bags of knitted and crocheted items are packed and ready to ship out. We bag upwards of a thousand items a week. All of it the work of the nonprofit From the Heart Stitchers, serving Central Virginia since 2001. And we have donated almost 500,000 items into the various communities. In terms of what they give, it ranges from hats and scarves to blankets and specialty shawls. And this shawl will be given to somebody that's wheelchair bound because of the shape of the shawl, it doesn't fall off. And Ennis, the group's president, says they give to anybody that needs help. Animal shelters. We donate to homeless shelters, domestic abuse shelters, hospitals, dialysis centers. The work is done by roughly 2,000 volunteers like Lori Winkle who crochets. Crochet is with one hand and one hook. And Marty Manson who knits. Knitting is with two needles. And while some donate time, others give supplies or money. As when CBS 6 was there, a local yarn shop surprised the nonprofit with a donation. We have $215 that we collected at our Christmas party instead of doing a gift exchange. As to why they all do it, Manson jokes that when you knit or crochet, eventually... Your family says enough. We have enough gifts from you. <laughs> but in reality, it is, as the name says, a chance to use their talents to give back from the heart. We give to a lot of people and we know what those people receive, a feeling of warmth and that somebody cares about them. Now the group is always welcoming new knitters and crocheters, including beginners, and if you'd like to find out more about them and the items they are looking for right now, head to our website, WTVR.com.